So good. The layers are just so buttery and flaky. They really just join together to make a really delicious pastry. Hi, I'm Megan Tucker. I'm a master baker and the chef and founder at More and Betty's Vegan Jewish Deli. Today we're making rugula with chocolate, hazelnut, and tangerine with the Miyoko's cashew cream cheese. We're also using Miyoko's European style cultured vegan butter. We're going to start by creaming our butter and cream cheese in the mixer. This Recipe means a lot to me because it was a favorite family recipe, and so recreating flavors from my childhood is very special to me. To be able to have it today made vegan with plant-based ingredients. We want to set our butter out on the counter for a little while so that it is a little bit closer to room temperature, but we don't want it to get too soft. So now we have the Miyoko's cream cheese, which also is at room temperature. And we're gonna use the whole thing, all eight ounces. And we're using the paddle attachment to the mixer because we are creaming the butter and the cream cheese together. And we don't want to incorporate any air, and so that's why we're not using the whisk. We're gonna mix this on a low speed for about two minutes until the butter and the cream cheese comes together. So the butter is really blending in so nicely. It looks super creamy. It's gonna make our dough just the perfect texture. So we're just gonna mix the butter and the cream cheese together just for another minute to make sure everything's incorporated. So now that we are incorporated, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. We have 25 grams of vegan cane sugar. We have a quarter teaspoon of a fine salt. We have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna zest our tangerine. This is a great way to incorporate a bit of holiday flavor into your baking. And we're gonna get about a tablespoon of zest. Just wanna make sure you get it all in there. And this is definitely, you know, if you, if you don't like chocolate and orange together, you definitely can leave out the citrus, but I think it is a really nice touch. And mix for about another minute. Okay, so next we're gonna add our 240 grams of all-purpose flour, and then we're gonna mix again on a low speed until our dough comes together. So we're just going to gather up our dough and then divide it into two portions. We're gonna set out two pieces of plastic wrap for our two portions of dough, and you don't need to weigh the dough or have a exact perfect uh, division, but you just wanna eyeball it and make sure they look about even. So we're just gonna fold over the plastic wrap and start to flatten out our dough a little bit. We're using the plastic wrap to kind of get us into a nice rectangular shape, get the dough to fill in any of these little spots so that when we go to roll it out later, we're starting with a really nice rectangle that's easy to work with. And what happens if you don't do this is your edges may have little cracks in them, which will make the dough harder to work with. And then just as a final step here, you want to, as much as you can, kind of even out the dough so it's about the same thickness all the way through, and that's just gonna help us again when we go to roll out the dough. So if the dough is too warm or if it warms up, it's gonna be really unmanageable and hard to work with. So that's why it's really important to utilize the fridge throughout the process. Now that our dough is all packaged, this is gonna go into the fridge so it can chill down and we'll be back once it's chilled. So we have our chilled dough and we're gonna work with one portion at a time. And I'm gonna dust the top of the dough. And I'm actually just gonna dust the bottom as well. And I'm gonna do a little bit on the sides. 
Then we have um, French rolling pin. I really prefer this style. Really don't care for the type that has like the handles. I feel like it's a little bit tricky to work with. To me, I just like this feel in my hands a little bit better. Just start by gently rolling and we wanna apply even pressure. And once you have like a little crack like that, we're going to rotate the dough. And so the shape that we're looking for is kind of a rectangular shape. When a crack does appear, we're just gonna kind of manipulate the dough in your hand and patch the crack up by just pressing it back together. And so we want to get our dough to about a quarter inch thick, kind of get the sides into a rectangular shape, and then we are done with this piece. So I'm not panicking because the dough, I'm gonna be able to move it pretty easily. And we're just gonna scooch it over, kind of use gravity to help us. And then we're just gonna kind of repair the dough and get it back into the shape that we want. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then we're gonna roll out our second portion of dough. So we have our chilled dough. You can see it looks so nice with our little tangerine zests in there. So now for the fillings, we have chocolate hazelnut spread that is vegan. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a mix. And then we're gonna add a thin layer to our dough. We're gonna leave a, about a quarter inch around the edge. And then when you get to the end, you just want to kind of go over the whole thing and that'll help you get full coverage. And then we're going to roll up our dough, kind of like you would imagine a cinnamon roll. So once we get to the end here, we're just gonna roll up our dough into this log and we will chill this down again before slicing and baking. One piece of advice with the recipe, especially around the holidays when you might have a lot going on in your kitchen, you can make the cookies ahead of time and either store them in your freezer or your fridge until you're ready to bake them. We have our dough, which has been chilling for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna slice our dough. And with rugulas and most other pastries that you shape this way, usually the ends are not as beautiful. And so I just like to kind of set those aside and that winds up being my treat before enjoying the rest of the cookies. We're gonna cut our cookies into about one inch thick slices. So now we're gonna place our cookies back on our tray and we're just gonna space them out evenly. And then we're gonna brush our cookies with the aguafaba, which is the liquid from cooking chickpeas. Aguafaba acts like an egg white in a lot of recipes. And so I like to use it as a glaze. I'm just gonna give a little brush and then we're gonna top these with some sugar this is just to give a little bit of texture to the top of the cookie and just a little bit of sweetness as well. We've got our preheated oven and so we're gonna pop these in for 18 minutes. So we have our baked rugulas. We're gonna transfer them to this wire rack and allow them to cool. The aroma of the cookies is just so nice. The chocolate and the hazelnut is really coming through. The arugula has got some really nice uh, browning on them and the dough held together but has like a flakiness to it. It's definitely the Miyoko's vegan butter. So while our rugulas are cooling, we have our chocolate chips in a double boiler that are melting and then we've got our chopped hazelnuts ready to go. 
So now that our chocolate chips are all melted, I'm just gonna give them a little stir. Get it nice and smooth. Pull the chocolate over to one side. And then we're going to start with our arugulas. And I like to just dip a side of the arugula into the chocolate so that you can still see the rest of the cookie. And then we're gonna dip into the hazelnuts. And then that's our finished cookie. We're gonna let these set. Uh, you can leave them at room temperature or you can pop them in the fridge for a few minutes to let the chocolate harden before you serve them. All right, so here are our finished rugulas. Uh, I'm so excited about how they turned out. They're super buttery and flaky. So I'm gonna try to fit all our rugulas onto our little platter. Today we made my chocolate hazelnut and tangerine rugula, and I'm so excited to be here with Miyoko to show my veganized recipe. I can't wait to dig into my rugulas myself. Thank you all so much for joining us today. So good. The layers of the chocolate and the pastry are just so buttery and flaky. They really just join together to make a really delicious pastry.